don't you like about the direction of rap right now? Uh, well, I think, uh, I actually, when it comes down to rap, I think that a lot of people are, uh, they're concentrating on rap and they're not concentrating on hip hop. Hip hop is a culture, a way of life, a way of thinking. Rap is, uh, should I say, a deviation of that, or should I say, a mutilation of that. Uh, hip hop as the culture gives you graffiti art, breakdancing, fashion, language, uh, rap music. But people are not concentrating on hip hop. They want more to rap. And I think uh, there needs to be more of a balance. That would be it for me. Yeah, yeah, OK. Um, when you come up in a neighborhood, you automatically aren't crazy about the police. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure some of our parents might be police officers. There have to be some good ones out there. Yes, and I'm yes. sure you know some good ones. Oh, yeah. But in your CD, you deal with the bad ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, what would you like to say about law enforcement and the judicial system? Well, uh, you know, I mean, I could just answer this in one question, one statement, Rodney King. But I'll just leave, I'll leave that alone and just say that uh, I, I don't think there's bad police or good police. I think there's intelligent police and then there's ignorant police. Mm. And the ignorant police seem to get themselves caught up in their own egos. And they think, you know, you put on a suit and a, a, a tie and you got a gun and a badge that's supposed to make you somebody. But actually, you know, people don't respect communities. Every community has its own law. And a true police officer gets along with the community. If you're representing a judicial system or something like that, you have to understand the consciousness of the people you're dealing with. If you don't know their consciousness and you don't know how they're thinking, then it's going to turn around to actually the retaliation that I represent on my records. We're not trying to have it. We black youth in this country, we don't fear nobody. So when it comes down to police, they just another sucker on the block as far as we're concerned. <laughs> I talked earlier about uh, the word ho. And there are a lot of uh, words under attack by radio stations. What do you think about that? And what do you think about the moves they're making? Well, I, you know, I, I, I tell you because the word ho, first of all, see, you got to look at education on a whole. No rap artist just picks up the mic and starts rhyming. Just, oh, OK, I got a mic, I'm start rhyming. Every rap artist has been to two institutions in America the Board of Education or the Educational Institution and the Religious Institution. These two institutions are the causes for the way people think. If you look at religion, for instance, religion is what gives you your sexism. Religion today in America totally disrespects women and femininity. This goes into our society. Our whole education becomes masculine. And what happens is you have God as a man. Nothing to do with women. God only has uh, sons, no daughters. He only inspires uh, men to write holy books that are about men. This is uh, irrational thinking. And if you, for all the people out there that study psychology, you know that uh, masculinity represents the analytical and femininity represents the creative. If you have no feminine respect in your society, you lack creative thinkers. If all you have is masculine respect, all you have is analytical thinkers. In other words, you have a bunch of people that all they could do is look at things that have already been created, but they themselves cannot create anything for themselves. Once we respect women and femininity in our systems, then you won't have rap artists saying anything of that nature. Who's the most important rapper of our time? Me. That's a good answer. Who's the second most important rapper uh, of our time? I, I, I would say that um, it, it's not one rapper. It's uh, the collective body of consciousness that uh, represents the people. Like, in other words, you know, it couldn't be one person. It has to be a collective body of people. It's, uh, I'll give you an example of uh, what would be called a rap artist these days. Uh, it would be things like, um, uh, what's a good example? Uh, politically, all right, I'll give you a prime example. Okay. Uh, what's going on in Haiti right now? Right. Uh, the military that's in Haiti is commercialized music in the world. Mm -hmm. Aristide is hip-hop. That's my point. 
many people, they don't know. They say, oh, who's Aristide? Well, I don't agree with Haiti. Oh, whatever, whatever. People are so politically uneducated, they can't even make decisions for themselves. I would just say that if you got to represent rap, you got to look at the political consciousness. Rap, it's like we are hip-hop. We're not doing hip-hop. We are rap. Black youth in this country, we are art. Other people study us and become artists. Other people study us and become mathematicians. But we are mathematics. We are science. You know, you look at a basketball player. He throws a basketball into a hoop. That's mathematics. That is how much energy does it take to take this piece of matter and put it all the way over there. And you have to be absolutely precise. And your tongue has to be in the right place. Your tongue, <laughs> word. Yeah. That's that flavor. See, wait, that's what we call, that's what we call flavor. Yeah. That's that flavor. <laughs> we add flavor to everything Hello. we do. Word up. Yes, Um, <laughs> wow, that's, about all I need to ask you, you really... <laughs> I mean, he's like family feud. Good answer, good everything, good answer. Good. You know, you're a heavy brother. Education is very important to you, isn't it? Education is extremely important. Uh, I, I personally dedicate my life to education. Me, I, I think uh, if we had more human education, against the onslaught of lies. You know, we could have a social equilibrium, but people today, they're caught up in myths and stereotypes, and these things are leading our lives. No one in this room is white, no one is black. Actually, uh, I wish I, okay, like this pen. Mm -hmm. That's Take a this black off. sharpie. This is black, this is the color black. Nobody in this room is this black. Uh, if, if, if. But if, I know a brother that black. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. This is the color white. If white people look like this, they'd be dead. No white man or woman can exist like this. This is not the color of a human being. But we keep dealing with each other. You're black, you're white, you're red, you're yellow. This is insanity. We need more human education against lies. Word. Okay. Oh, Marla, can I have one more second? Just hold, Sandy. Uh... I wanted to ask you this question. What do you oh. think about the resurgence of the chronic? Oh, the chronic. <laughs> well, uh, actually, you know, I, I think that... Um, when... For those in Vermont watching, uh, that's marijuana. <laughs> And we have the support of the Surgeon General. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, let, let, me, let me just say that, um, uh, you know, when, when it comes down to herb and herbtology in America, the greatest... <laughs> the, the oh, great... <laughs> brother brings it, don't he? <laughs> Word. Herbtology. Is, is this here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say that um, you're the best herbtologist in the world, actually, with the Native American Indians. And uh, I think if that civilization had a chance to flourish uh, within our society, we wouldn't have uh, the, should I say, the irresponsible uh, use of the chronic. Uh, er, you know, the earth gives us every seed and herb that we could possibly have. Some are good for you, some you take too much, it'll kill you, period. But people out here, they're not interested in health. It's not even a matter of say no to the chronic or say no to any drugs for that matter. It's a matter of saying yes to health. Uh, everybody ain't got to run around with a blunt in their mouth and act like they ain't got no sense. The, matter, the point of the matter here is to say yes to your health. It's a matter of health. That's all it is. But if you bring up the chronic, you got to bring up that pork. You got to bring up that beef, that chicken, salt, sugar, caffeine, morphine, all these over-the-counter drugs, sleepy, snuffy head medicine so you could rest at night. All of these, these, these drugs have the same amount of effect or damage that the chronic might have. But the only thing is that, um, I'll give you a little hint here, due to uh, what is called NAFTA. I know you all have heard a lot about NAFTA and what's been going on. Actually, it's supposed to mean the North American Free Trade Agreement, but what it really is is not another freaking thing again, actually. And I send that out to my Mexican brothers and sisters because when it comes down to the chronic, a lot of the chronic comes out of Mexico.